This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hey folks, Zeph Films here with another visual review. Uh, I know I said in the previous video, which was the Columbia, um, the Columbia class visual review that I was going to be doing the Sovereign next, but I got my hands on this ship. Uh, so thank you to Sithrex for providing this ship to me on Tribble. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it and giving me the opportunity to do a visual review on it. Um, I might do my cinematic stuff uh, with it over the weekend. Something short. Yeah, we'll see what I can figure out with that ship. Uh, but yeah, this is the brand new ship that came in an R&D pack. This is the Section 31 Command Heavy Dreadnought. Another four nacelle ship to add to the roster. Uh, this is also the ship that we saw in the final two episodes or final one episode of uh, Discovery Season 2. So this is an another Section 31 uh, ship that we have access to. Unfortunately, it is behind an R&D promo pack. Um, with the announcement of the TFO event, I was actually kind of expecting that this was going to be announced as a low buy ship. It is what it is. Um, I admittedly was a little bit disappointed that it was in an R&D promo back, but you know I'm not going to spend the entire video crying over it. Uh, nothing I can really do about it. So uh, here's the ship. If you're lucky to get it, congratulations. Uh, if you're looking at getting it and trying to figure it out, uh, that's totally up to you. If you want to try and open up the R&D promo backs for it or grind the EC for it and buy it off the exchange. Uh, I'm not sure what the cost is on the exchange for it, but um, uh, hopefully going through quickly on the stats of this ship, um, maybe that'll help you determine it. But I'm here for the Space Barbie, so let's look. Let's get the stats out of the way. All right, so like I said, this is a Section 31 Command Heavy Battle Cruiser. This is a 5-3. Um, it comes with uh, Covert Phaser Dual Heavy Cannons. Uh, it looks like these are the ones that kind of level up with you as you uh, as you level up yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, so 5-3, 4 device slots, 5 engineering console slots, 2 science console slots, and 4 tactical console slots. It has an, a, uh, a universal console. This one is called Forged Turncoat. So when slotted, this gives you plus 15% critical severity and plus 3 weapon power settings. Uh, when activated, um, it confuses and then disables your foe. So you confuse target for 12.6 seconds, then disable target for 4.8 seconds when confuse ends. And the damage of foe is significantly increased while confused. Uh, and then there's also control amplification to target hit minus uh, 25 exotic damage resistance for 10 seconds and minus 25 control resistance for 10 seconds. And there is a two minute recharge. Um, another thing to notice, uh, it does have two additional uh, buttons here. One of them is called dark mode and the other one is called deploy swarm. Uh, so dark mode, essentially uh, this is to yourself. Uh, when you activate this, after 3 seconds, you get plus 4,976.3 stealth, minus 5 current shield power per second, and plus 50 defense rating. Uh, after exiting dark mode, you get plus 15% bonus damage for 5 seconds. So it seems like pretty similar stats to that of the cloak. Uh, so let's just activate it here. So that's the dark mode. We can see that the uh, the doors on the uh, deflector have closed. The lights on the nacelles and the bizarre collectors have turned off. It's and the impulse engines have turned off. So it is literally gone dark. Uh, and then after we turn off dark mode, there we go. Everything, all the lights are back on. And everybody is home. Uh, let's check out the swarm mode while we're here. Uh, we'll just take a look at that animation. So we'll hit activate that power. Uh, apparently all the drones that come out are at the hall. So let's zoom in on the hall and take a good look at this. Yeah. 
There we go. And that's swarm mode. So we can see, uh, we can see the, uh, kind of right through the hull there, because literally whatever our, uh, was covering our hull was, uh, is flying now around us. <laughs> uh, let's read the, uh, the specs on it here. All right, so deploy swarms, uh, launches point defense drones, uh, while swarm is deployed, uh, 55.6 phaser damage to various nearby foes. 4,354.8 kinetic damage to large nearby foes, minus 15% maximum hit points, plus 15% flight speed, and plus 15% uh, flight turn rate. I uh, will go and take a look at this in action um, on the way to the Solanae Dyson Sphere for the shield portion of this. Uh, but let's put these guys back. There, all tucked in back to bed all right let's talk about the mastery it's really weird not seeing a t6 mastery because well we had 10 ships that had tier 6 mastery so we only have a top, tier 5 mastery to worry about today this one is called secret mission it affects foe one max periodically marks a nearby foe as your secret target while in combat secret target has minus 50 all damage resistance rating versus you when you defeat your secret target, create a Section 51 Swarm for 60 seconds. So, that's that. Uh, the stations, we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal Station, a Lieutenant Universal slash Intel Station, a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, a Commander Engineering slash Command Station, and an Ensign Engineering Station. All right, so with the specs out of the way, let's go to the ship tailor and take a look at what this thing looks like, like what customization options uh, we have available to us. So let's go do that uh, now. All right, so here we are in the ship tailor. So template, we only have one template available to us, which is the Section 31 Dreadnought. Uh, interior, there is only one available to us and it is the very, very, very generic Starship uh, interior. Uh, windows, we only have one window available to us, which is the Section 31 Dreadnought. Materials. Now, I went, I kind of looked at this beforehand, and uh, <laughs> this is, this is going to be interesting. So the default material that's on here is called Discovery Era Section 31. We have access to all of these, uh, but some of them look pretty weird. So the first one up is Defiant. So I believe that part has to stay black because that is the part that gets animated and flies off the hull uh, when you go into swarm mode. So this might bother some people? I don't know. Uh, that's the default. Discovery Era Type 1. I mean, really, any other skin kind of defeats the purpose of the Section 31 skin, but... <laughs> Discovery Era Type 2. Discovery Era Type 3. The deflector isn't really showing up, is it? It's bright on 31, very bright on Defiant. Type 1, Type 2, it goes away. Type 3, it goes away. Type 4, it's missing. And I tried playing around with the colors. Uh, the color doesn't change that black part. Here's Type 5. Type 6. And then we have Galaxy. And then Intelligence. Let's just reset that and... Intelligence looks pretty cool. Intrepid. NX. An 
NX refit. Sovereign. Sovereign refit. Then we have type zero. And then the older one, so we got type one, type two, type three. Type 4, Type 5A, I think this is the first time I'm seeing a 5A, I don't know if this is a triple thing or what, uh, 6, Type 7, hmm, the Type 7 kind of works a little bit. So we got the black outlining going uh, down the nacelles and that it kind of goes with the the theme of this part here um, let's see just playing with the color selector here I don't not really seeing any oh well and type 8 Type 8B. Upgrade. And Veteran. Alright, so let's put this back to section 31. Click the Advanced tab. Obviously, no customization options uh, at all here. Uh, for body parts, um, but take a look what's under pattern. So we throw the Andromeda pattern on the saucer, and then let's see if we can see it at all. I'm just going to pick white and no. <laughs> no, don't see anything at all there. I mean, we tried. Uh, we could try hall and let's try top nacelles. Anything? Uh, nope, I don't see. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not seeing any. Color changes here. Hmm. All right, let's move that back to back to the default. Everything's back to default. Okay, so as I said, I'm on Tribble. Uh, I'm not sure if this can be 3D printed, but if it can, I'll search for it. I'll have a link available to that uh, down in the description below. And uh, thank you to the sponsor of this video, GamePrint. GamePrint just launched a new, fully customizable Star Trek Online Starship plaque. The plaque's design is inspired by the iconic ship wall in the USS Enterprise D's Observation Lounge. This wall featured an Alto Relievo style display of scale sculptures of six of the Earth vessels previously commissioned as the USS Enterprise. Currently, the plaque is available for most Federation starships. Choose your ship and customize the nameplate's ship name, registry number, commission star date and sector, captain's name, and the ship's slogan. All right, so here we are in our little proving grounds. Uh, let's turn on dark mode. Let's target this guy. Uh, we're just going to go through the different um, the different uh, thingies here, just to show it off what it looks like with the default gear and how. Uh, the swarm mode works. Uh, so let's do this. Oh. Guess dark mode ended. <laughs> Interesting. 
So this one does the turncoat, so let's confuse that guy. Let's activate our swarm mode. The torpedoes look pretty cool. So there's our swarm. Pretty much going out in little bursts, kind of like, uh... Kind of reminds me of the, uh, oh, what's it called? The point defense system that I think comes on... Oh, I can't remember what it comes on. Oh, I am on default shield, so... Let's just use that. There we go. Little bit of a sluggish turn, but then again, it is a dreadnought, so... Alright, let's take out these. I mean, I have done this with other ships on normal mode, and I would have been destroyed by now, so... So far, hull-wise, it's holding up pretty good. Those shields are taking a little while to get back up, and I know I don't have the proper bridge officer layout for it. It's not a build review, so... Really, we're just trying to get a feel for the ship. It turns slow, it's a dreadnought. Uh, the swarm thing it looks like it only works if you're within... yeah, if you're within five kilometers. I can't remember if swarm mode actually said that. No, just said to no nearby foes, so... Uh, let's just... So we're three kilometers, four kilometers... Now we're outside of five, and it stopped firing. So if you're wondering about how close you have to be with the swarm mode, it is uh, five kilometers. So right now we're at six. Now we're within five and a swarm... there we go. Confuse him again. Now he's disabled, not moving. And exploded. Cool. Um, Alright, let's put these guys back on. The hull. Get on the hull. There we go. Alright, let's go to the Solanae Dyson Sphere and take a look at how this thing looks with uh, different shields. This should be interesting. Alright, so I'm in the Solanae just about to get into place. I'm going to take this opportunity because I know you're eagerly waiting to see how this thing looks with shields. Uh, so I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you that the raffle is uh, about to get announced. I will have a video out uh, hopefully by the weekend or during the weekend announcing the raffle. Um, I do have an amazing... Uh, uh, grand prize that has to do with the sponsor of this video um, that's all I'll say so uh, yeah so keep an eye out for that video also let's hide the HUD uh, so yeah here we are in the Solanae Dyson Sphere um, I looked at the poll results and even though it's only been a couple of days the poll results were pretty uh, definitive 90% uh, of you voted to say saying stay in the Solanae 10% of you said uh, go somewhere else. I think I put in soul system. Uh, so I'm going to respect the vote and stay at the 90, uh, the 10% of you. I'm really sorry. So here we are in the Solanae Dyson Sphere. I feel like that is like the third time I've said that. Uh, here's a better look at the ship overall. Um, I do really like this detail that's on the hull. It's got that carbon fiber look to it. I love carbon fiber, by the way. It's, 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 it's expensive, <laughs> um, though you could always cheat and get the 3M uh, wrap that look, makes it look like carbon fiber, um, but yeah, I would imagine that if you were to have a stealthy ship, it would be made out of carbon fiber. You would need some really, really crazy shields to protect it, though, because you look at it the wrong way and it breaks, <laughs> at least from what I remember on car parts and that. Um, but yeah, uh, let's zoom out and start chucking shields on this thing. Starting with the T5 Discovery Rep Shield Array. Whoa, you can really see it. Usually we don't normally see the pattern at all, but this is pretty much an all-black ship, so we see lots of it. Uh, 
as I suspected, these black parts here, I believe that is the animated part that flies up when you go into swarm mode. So I have a feeling that pretty much all of our shields, it'll probably stay that way. Though I'm hoping for the Fakiri, it changes to the red, but I might be wishing for too much there. Uh, next shield. Here is the tier 6 Discovery Rep Vanity Shield. Literally acid trip. That or they're going back to car parts, there is uh, a process called marbleizing or paint marbleizing uh, where you have a uh, a bin of paint with like uh, swirling colors like this and you dip your part into it and swirl it around and come it out and it comes out like this. Um, I've seen some paint jobs on uh, engine valve covers done like this and it comes out phenomenal. So when I see this, uh, specifically on this ship, I'm, I'm thinking back to my car modification days. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next shield, the adapted Mako shield array. Uh, noticing a little bit of differences, I think a lot of stuff is just going to be kind of drowned out by the uh, the dark texture on this hull already. So maybe it'll look, it may be previous shields that didn't look so good will look better. We shall see. Next shield, the Omega Force shield array. So we see a little bit more detail um, on the pylons there in the middle. On the underside in the hull in the hole of the hull that's a mouthful right there lots of stuff up here on the top next shield all right and here is the tier 6 Omega vanity shield so pretty much the same design except everything that we saw that was yellow is now purple kind of blends in with the ship a bit more um, yeah. Not too bad. Next shield. All right, so here is the Borg shield, deflector, and engine. So there's the deflector down there. Though I am curious if we put this into dark mode. Huh. So dark mode actually cloaks the parts that are added from the Borg set. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, let's turn off dark mode here. Uh, so we could see the uh, the shield, um, what you call it, um, visual. There we go. Words, words are hard. Uh, there's the part that's on the end of the nacelle. Though I didn't notice if that moved with dark mode. Sorry, we're going back into dark mode. Oh, so the other piece is straight up just cloaked, whereas the engine piece for uh, the nacelle just up and disappeared. Interesting. But the, uh, the simulation effect is very minimalistic on the hull. It's mostly on the belly, really. Oh, well. Uh, next shield. Here's the new Kara T5 shield array. A lot of noise here on the nacelles and the pylons. Hmm. Do we have that bright? Yeah, we have that bright deflector. <laughs> uh, next shield. And here's the tier 6 new Kara uh, vanity shield. Woo. It's a lot of noise, especially like right here, at the back of these fins. It's uh, it's getting close to Breen territory there. <laughs> oh God, the Breen shield. Oh, uh, next shield, the T5 Romulan shield array. You know this actually looks good down here. I don't mind it. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Hmm. Next shield, the Riemann T5 shield array. So all the chrome except for the parts of the swarm mode. Hmm. Next shield, the new Romulus Riemann T6 vanity shield. 
That looks pretty cool. I like this one. It just goes with the theme of the ship, honestly. Yeah, I like that. Next shield, the T5 Dyson Rep Shield Array. You know, that looks pretty good too. It actually works, so it's good contrasting colors, right? So, next shield, the T6 Dyson Rep uh, Vanity Shield. Again, this one doesn't look too bad on this shield or on the ship either. Huh? You look at that. Next shield, the Counter Command T5 Shield Array. I, wow, I actually kind of dig it on here. Ah, those big polka dots, though. This part up front here is a little bit weird, though. Kind of, yeah. Like, the ones on the bottom line up fine. The ones up top, not so much, so, eh. Next shield. Here's the Counter Command T6 Vanity Shield. Not too bad, but then we got those big polka dots. Don't ask me why I'm hating on the polka dots, I just don't like them. <laughs> Though not too bad. Polka dots aside, it actually doesn't look too bad on here. It just those unaligned circles kind of bug me. Next shield, the Delta Alliance T5 Shield Array. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, obviously, it matches the default of the ship, so... Obviously, darker shields are going to reign supreme. But yeah, that looks really good. Oh, I can't wait to see Terran Task Force. Ugh. Next shield, the T6 Delta Alliance Vanity Shield. This looks pretty good too. I don't hate it. I mean, I think the worst one so far is the new Kara. <laughs> Next shield, the Iconian T5 Shield Array. Um, uh, It's not bad. This part here down the middle looks a little bit weird, but not bad. Next shield. And here is the tier six Iconian Rep Vanity Shield. I don't think I can get behind this one, but again, it's, I'm not hating it. I hate this part here. I'm not hating it. What's wrong with me? Next shield, the Terran Task Force T5 Shield Array. Oh boy, that looks good. Heck, the the ship is darker than the black panels there for the swarm. Oh, that looks so good though. So good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Next shield, and here is the Tier 6 Terran Task Force Vanity Shield. Not bad. T5 is definitely far superior, but again, this is all subjective, so. But not too bad. Next shield, the Temporal Defense T5 Shield Array. Now that looks a little bit off <laughs> to me. Yeah, that looks a little bit weird. Hmm. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Temporal Defense Vanity Shield. Seems to go a little bit better than the tier 5, but it seems still a little off with this ship. Hmm. 
Next shield. Here's the tier five Lucari shield array. All that Tron. Past couple of videos we've been we've been neglected on our Tron. And the Tron shield visual gods have looked down upon us and said, Thou shall have Tron. And here we have it. Oh, that looks so good. Looks so good. Next shield. And here is the tier 6 Lucari uh, Vanity Shield. I.e. pinkish purple Tron. It's more subtle than the tier 5. Um, this one I think is a pass for me though. Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Competitive War Games Shield Array. I see the diamonds there on the nacelles. Um, I think the lines that we get from the tier five just don't go because they kind of they go against the symmetry of what we have going on for the panels from the swarm mode. So it's like it's nice and smooth and linear here, and then over here it's just noise. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Next shield. And here is the tier 6 competitive war games vanity shield. So pretty much same thing, just gold and yellow. I think of the two, the tier 5 looked better. Because the blue accents that we had were going with the... Uh, they matched what we had going on with the, uh, the nacelles there, so... Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Gamma Rep Shield Array. Nothing spectacular for me personally. But then again, this is all subjective. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 uh, Gamma Rep Vanity Shield. Uh, mm. I don't know. I love the color, but I just don't know on this ship. Uh, I don't know. Next shield. All right, here's the Deep Space Niners Vanity Shield. This is the baseball shields from last year's uh, summer event. Next shield. The Cation Claws. I honestly don't think any of these suit the ship. <laughs> Maybe the Bozeman. The Ferenginar Liquidators. This one definitely does not go. <laughs> looks like a flying advertisement for the dollar store. Our dollar stores up here in Canada are called Dollarama. I don't know what they're called in the States or elsewhere, but... Let me know, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Shield. The Bozeman Titan. Okay, so maybe there was one that looked good. Also, we have a uh, dollar store called a buck or two, where there's hardly anything that's a, a buck or two. I think there was a hand sanitizer that was like eight or nine dollars for a small bottle. Uh, next shield, the slime devils. Yeah, no. I think what the problem is, uh, is we have two colors is fine when you start throwing three at it so we have the black the pinkish purple or whatever the heck that is and the green is just too many colors on the ship for any ship really so yeah i don't know that's just my opinion next shield the vulcan logicians okay this one looks pretty good too so this one and the bozeman titans uh looked pretty good i think out of all the baseball shields, the Bozeman Titans is the winner here. Next shield, the Aegis Shield Array. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Some subtle trim lighting along the edges of the ship. Hell yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. Very nice. Next shield, the Breen Shield. 
Oh. Uh, I think it looks worse with the swarm panels on here. <laughs> yeah. The Bajor Defense Shield Array. Oh, that was a very... Very hard uh, camera pan. I apologize. Doing this by hand, by the way. Don't know if you noticed. Yeah, I think there's... Nah. I don't think this one works on here either. Too many... One too many colors going on. If we didn't have the black panels for the swarm mode, then maybe, but... Next shield. And the Jem'Hadar Story Mission Reward Shield. Uh... I'll leave this one up to you. Lockbox Shield's next! Alright, we're in the home stretch. Here's the Herc. Lockbox Vanity Shield. Uh, uh, I don't know. Next shield. The Ferengi Lockbox Vanity Shield. No. No, this one's a pass for me, too. Yeah. Next shield. Here's the Kelvin Divergence lockbox vanity shield. I'm so glad not to see the Bizarre Collector things on the Bizarre Collectors, but on this random part here. Wait, is that even right? No, those aren't the Bizarre. What the heck even is that? I don't know. All right, well, here we are. <laughs> Um, again, I don't know. Honestly, I think some of the rep, the tier 5 shield arrays are looking better than the lockbox vanity shields so far. Like, I know I said in, uh, what was it, the Dyson contrasting colors, but this, this middle part just like, I don't know. I really don't know. It's all subjective, right? So, anyway. Next shield. The dis oh, oh. oh, yes! Oh, I couldn't even... Okay. Hold. The Discovery Rep Lockbox Vanity Shield. God, that looks good. From underneath, it looked good. From that top, oh. I don't know. From down here, it looked all right. From up here, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Next shield. The Emperor's Lockbox Vanity Shield. Ooh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think... Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That looks very... Yep, 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 yep. That looks very good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Next shield. The Section 31 lockbox vanity shield? <laughs> it looks the same. That's probably why it looks so good. Mm. So we're really, we're just looking at the default skin right now. <laughs> Are we? Hold on. Let's put it like this. All right. I'm going to try and remember the differences here. Now let's turn off the thing. Duh. Does it seem lighter to you? I don't know. It's hard to tell because I had to bring up the window, so I guess we'll find out when it's rendered. <laughs> Next shield. The Zen Kefi Lockbox Vanity Shield. You know... There's a lot of noise on that back end with the lights and stuff. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Next shield. The pink vanity shield. That looks really good. I like it. 
Uh, this is from the breast cancer awareness uh, charity thing that they did. And um, this vanity shield was a special reward. Just in case you're looking at this video and wondering, where'd you get this from? So, yeah, that looks really cool. I like that. Uh, next shield. The Fakiri lockbox vanity shield. So, yeah. I knew that the the swarm mode panels wouldn't turn red. Oh, oh, oh. But we got some red right there. Bam! Yes! I like it. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Right here. Okay. Eh, not bad. Next shield. And the last shield is the Borg Lockbox Vanity Shield. Or should be called the Liberated Borg Vanity Shield, but that looks really good. Oh, I like that very much. Very much like that. Yes. Yes, please. And that is it. Um, yeah. Very interesting results with the shields there. Um, like I said, I I was a little bit disappointed to see this put into an R&D promo pack. I I thought this should I thought this would have been like the perfect opportunity. Uh, to introduce something into the low buy store again ship wise uh, especially with the changes to the tf or the feature tfo uh, reward system uh, maybe we'll see something closer to the end of the feature tfo event where people start to cash in and get the or become eligible to get the thousand low buy uh, but i think this ship would have been an amazing addition to the low buy store as an incentive to work towards getting the low buy uh, for this ship uh, those are just my opinions of course uh, if this is a ship that you want to go after um, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money uh, me personally I don't think I would buy the R&D promo boxes for this um, but yeah that's uh, that's just my opinion from one player to another um, yeah thank you very much for watching uh, thank you to Sithrex for hooking me up with this ship on Tribble I really do appreciate it. I uh, actually did have fun uh, looking over the different uh, uh, visual options on this thing. So thank you. Uh, thank you to our sponsor, GamePrint, for sponsoring this channel and providing us with an amazing prize for our 10,000 subscriber uh, raffle, which details are coming soon. Um, yeah, if you're new here and haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video, which will this time probably be the Sovereign video <laughs> uh, visual review. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.